Welcome to PowerPointSkills.com. Uh, this section is a little bit advanced, but it's, it involves inserting uh, Flash Swift files into your PowerPoint presentations. So sometimes in presentations we want to um, demonstrate a bit of software or a bit of functionality in some software. Rather than go outside the PowerPoint presentation or even link to another application from PowerPoint, because you have load up time and so on to worry about, um, you can do it actually within the PowerPoint presentation itself. You can embed the Flash object in there, but it's a little bit tricky. So let me show you how we do that. First of all, to insert the Flash file, we need to do it from the Developer tab um, up here. If you don't see the Developer tab on PowerPoint, go across to your Office button, click that, and go down to PowerPoint Options. Now, one of the items on this, um, this popular um, list here is Show Developer tab in Ribbon. So if you just make sure that that is um, highlighted and that you have a check against that and say OK, you should then see the Developer tab. So let's go to the Developer tab and go to our first slide. I've got a marketing slide here and I want to in insert a Flash object into that slide. Now I go to the control box here and one of the little symbols here is a hammer and wrench. So just click on that little button there and it brings up a list of controls that we can add into our presentation. Now what we want to do is go down until we get to uh, right down the bottom here to shockwave flash object. So shockwave flash object, highlight that and say OK and our uh, mouse cursor turns into a little cross. We drag that out to the shape that we want to add our flash object. So I want to make it you know, fairly large and it presents us with this, this box when we take our finger off the button. Next we right click with that highlighted, right click on it and go down to properties open up the properties dialog box and go to the movie item here. What we need to do here is put the path to our flash object in this movie um, box here. So in my case I have my flash object under C colon forward slash flash forward slash marketing dot SWF. Okay, check my spelling that looks okay. So close that. Let's go to the next slide, do the same thing again. I'm going to insert my shockwave flash object like so. Right click on properties and in this case my movie is called C oops, colon forward slash flash forward slash sales dot SWF. Okay, so let's see what happens. So I'll go to my presentation now, go to slideshow and show our presentation. So here's my first slide. Now here's my first flash animation. Now let's take a look at this. This is actually a marketing program analysis dashboard and I can add in values from Google search and let's say um, online banners and compare those categories and I can see here various impression rates and click rates and leads, um, cost per lead ratios and site visits and uh, visit lead percentages and so on. So very very nice little animation within the slide itself and I haven't um, gone to another application. Let's go to the next slide and I have a different uh, control panel. I've got a sales dashboard here and I can see what happens if I increase my desktop sales, my laptop sales and servers, uh, PDAs and so on. I can start to see those, uh, those ranges here and the amount of uh, dollars that we're going to generate by increasing sales on those items. So how about that? I've got the, um, the presentation, uh, the, the flash objects actually in my PowerPoint presentation. These little dashboards are from um, Excelsius, which is a part of Business Objects, and uh, if you go to their website, you can download those. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, thanks for joining us at PowerPointSkills.com. Bye for now.